Hi. So my name is uh, Spike Millington. I'm Chief Executive of the East Asian Australasian Flyway Partnership. And our partnership brings together 34 national governments, intergovernmental organizations and NGOs um, working to save migratory water birds in their habitats in our flyway. And the flyway extends all the way from Alaska and Arctic Russia down through East Asia, Southeast Asia to uh, Australia and New Zealand. And today we're here to mark uh, World Migratory Bird Day. World Migratory Bird Day is an annual celebration of the wonder of migration. Um, and this year, the theme is um, illegal hunting, illegal take of, of wild birds, which is a very serious issue, uh, not just in our flyway, but, but all across the world. And uh, perhaps one of the most famous examples from our flyway, although it's not a, a water bird, concerns uh, yellow-breasted bunting. Yellow-breasted bunting is a small, brightly colored songbird that used to be very common throughout the region, nesting in the uh, Arctic and subarctic regions and migrating down through Asia. And it used to migrate in huge flocks, tens of thousands. But uh, unfortunately, it became very popular as a, uh, as a food for local markets. And what we've seen is a catastrophic dis decline in the numbers of this species. So now it's actually quite hard to find and the species has been upgraded from common to uh, now endangered state status. Um, and so this has happened actually very rapidly and uh, people are actually comparing this decline to that of the, the passenger pigeon in the US, which used to cover the sky in huge flocks, and then became extinct in a very short period of time. So that's the case for a, a migratory songbird, but of course our, our flyway our partnership deals with water birds, and water birds are also uh, at major risk from uh, illegal hunting. And I think this is an issue that's only recently uh, be become uh, has such a high profile because it's, we've realized that it's actually a very important issue in our flyway. Habitat loss remains the most important issue uh, affecting the declines of our migratory water birds. But illegal hunting, particularly in some uh, areas of the flyway, is actually a very serious concern. And um, one of the things that uh, uh, we're particularly concerned with is uh, along the coastal mudflats of East Asia, a lot of illegal mist netting for uh, shorebirds. So a lot of shorebirds are killed every year uh, in these mist nets that are spread out in huge numbers on coastal mudflats. And uh, we're seeing that the take of these birds is actually quite high and quite significant. And particularly because some of these species are critically endangered, such as the spoonbill sandpiper. So the mist nets are not set up specifically for spoonbill sandpiper, but they get caught in them. And because the, the global population of spoonbill sandpiper is only perhaps 400, 500 birds, um, any significant loss through illegal hunting uh, has a significant effect on the global population. Um, the good thing is that what we're seeing is some progress in controlling this situation. So for instance, in southern China, where there used to be quite uh, rampant uh, mist netting on the coasts, uh, increased awareness and um, patrolling by local forestry officers has led to a, a big reduction in the amount of illegal mist netting. So now we're seeing recovery of these areas, a recovery of populations of birds, so that the spoonbill sandpiper, which used to winter on this coast a long time ago, but hasn't recently, is now uh, recovering and there's a substantial population wintering on the coasts where uh, this illegal trapping has, has declined. So I would say that um, although it remains a major problem, not just for shorebirds but also for ducks and geese which are illegally poisoned or illegally shot, I think that the situation is, is improving in certain ways and we can be quite optimistic for the future. We have to work a lot harder, of course, to raise the awareness of the issue, to make people understand that actually this activity is having a very significant impact on what is a globally shared 
biodiversity resource. Um, but the signs are, are quite good in some aspects. So I'm optimistic that for shorebirds at least, um, we've turned the corner on this. Uh, for ducks and geese, there is still a lot of illegal poisoning going on. And this is something we really need to get a handle on and, and try to deal with because species such as lesser white-fronted goose, which is one of the rarest species uh, of goose in the world, uh, all it takes is one major poisoning episode in the major and wintering grounds and the species can be uh, severely affected. So I think that uh, uh, while World Migratory Bird Day is something where we are celebrating the wonders of migration and the, and the fantastic story that is, and it seems a little bit dissonant to talk about um, illegal hunting as something to celebrate, I think what we can celebrate is the fact that we're making some inroads into illegal hunting, we're raising the profile of the issue, and we're actually starting to see some successes now.